Hello, bookish friends on the internet. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew, and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. And for today's video, I am here to do a all the unread books I have on my bookshelf. Um, I'm sure I'll find a better title. Future me will find a better title than that. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to do kind of a part two to the part one that I did earlier this month. Um, for this one, this is the rest of my books from the blue books that I stopped at last time all the way to the white books that I didn't show. Um, and then I want to show off my TBR cart, which I have two of them. And then I thought about doing all my, um, books on my TBR shelf, which I have a dedicated shelf now for my books that I have unread. Um, thought I would take them off my shelf and put them on here. But I decided to stop halfway through. That way, I don't forget where the books goes where. But anyways, without further ado, let's just jump into this. Because I'm very excited to show you all the unread books that I own. Um, I think I'm just going to start with our TBR cart since I have them here with me. So, I got these two carts. This one right here. I think I got them at Target. Both of these I got at Target, I think. Or... I think this one right here that you can't see off camera is um, from Amazon, but it was like the same style. It is a little hard to pull over, so I'm going to be gentle with that one. Uh, maybe I should take less books off. But I have two TBR, sh uh, I keep calling them shelf, even though they are carts. Two TBR carts and then a TBR shelf that I holds most of my unread books. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into this because I don't want to do a part three. So I'm going to definitely have this be a longer video for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Get some water, get some snacks, some blankets, and curled up with a good book. And let's get started, shall we? So without further ado, the first book on my TBR cart I have here is my newest one, and that is Demon in the Wood by Lee Bardugo. Uh, my best friend Charlie got me this for Christmas this month, so it will be in my Christmas slash December book haul at the end of the month, so spoiler alert. Uh, next is Saint by Adrian Young, another book my friend Charlie got for me. Then I pre-ordered this one earlier this month, and it arrived, and that is Acting the Part by S.R. Elroy. Um, this is my January Query Reads book club pick for the month of January. If you would like to join us, please let me know down below and I will add you into our group chat. Query Reads also has a Instagram account, which I'm going to be better at posting about um, on that account next month. So very excited to read this. We also have an author interview coming. Um, these next couple books are also going to be my December book haul because these are my December book of the month pick. I got Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriella Zevin. I got A Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross. Kiss Her Once for Me by Allison Crockrun. Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. The Last Legacy by Adrian Young. Let me stack these up properly. As Old as Time by Liz Braswell. I believe this is book three. Yes, book three of the Twisted Tale series. Uh, Feather and Flame by Livia Blackbird. Bought this uh, the month that came out, and I haven't read it yet, even though I really loved book one. The Ghost We Keep by Mason Deaver. Black Boy Joy by Kimon Mabala, along with 17 or 16 other authors. A Blade So Black by L.L. L. McKinney. Heart of the Moors by Holly Black. Uh, this next one is part of the Harper Collin Union, so I can't really talk about it too much, but that is Children of the Ragnar Ragnarok uh, by Cinder Williams Chima. The Other Black Girl by Zelaya Delilah Harris. 
Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. And my reread of We Hunt the Flames by Hafasa Falazier. Let me put these back on the cart real quick. That way they don't fall over during filming. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, I should probably do this after filming, but I don't. <laughs> Next up, I have a few more on my TBR shelf. So next I have is Grey Warren by Maggie Stiefvater. Empress Crown in Red by Cinnamon Smart. The X Hex by Aaron Sterling. Mr. Impossible by Maggie Stiefvater. Golden Boys by Phil Stamper. Blood Like Magic by Leslie Sambury. Jackpot by Nick Stone. In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. My friend Lori bought me for that book earlier this year. I got, I finally found my copy, A Middle Game by uh, Shauna McGuire. Very excited. I'm going to be body reading this with my friend Sydney next month. Uh, the first two books in the Seven Realms series, I'm going to be rereading The Demon King, and then I'm going to finally get to the Exile Queen. I've been dying to read these, but haven't been in the mood for YA fantasy recently, so we'll see. Next are a few more paperbacks that I own. Probably should have done this off camera, but again, oh well. <laughs> uh, next I have is Today, Tonight, and Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Iron Widow by... Zuran J. Zhao, which the cover for book two is stunning, and it comes out in August. Verity by Colleen Hoover. A Curse in Ash by Julie Stentopoulos. I'm so sorry if I butcher your last name. Uh, I know and talk to you on here on booktube, um, and I'll leave Julie from Pages and Pens channel down below. So. Congrats, Julie. I still need to get book two, even though I haven't read book one yet. <laughs> it Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. Princess of Souls by Alexander Cristio. Very excited for this. I hear this is a dark uh, Rapunzel retelling. And my friend, my bestie, Sydney, she bought me this book uh, when I was just coming home from the hospital. So cannot wait to read this. Then I have City of the Play God by Suwata Charya. A Venom in the Dark and Sweet by Judy Eilin. Oh, don't get bent. My bad. <laughs> I'm the Girl by Courtney Summers. A lot of these you've seen on like future TBRs and whatnot. Um,. Shuri the Vanished by Nick Stone. Fire with Fire by Ros uh, Destiny Soraya. That's a cool name. Uh, this one I DNF'd earlier this year, and that is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager, which I guess I could have mentioned this in my end of the year book tag. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Steve Otter. Anatomy, A Love Story by um, Donna Schwartz. And for the final row on this TBR cart before I push it over to off to the side, uh, this next book is Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. 
A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth, which my friend Lori got for me for Christmas last year, I think. And I still haven't read it yet. Um, and I think we're going to buddy read this next year because book three comes out next year. And obviously I don't have book two. Uh, next is The Whisper Man by Alex North. I have Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young. The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by uh, Axie O. A couple of my book of the month picks. I have You're Invited by Amanda J. Natasia. I'm so sorry for butchering your last name. The It Girl by Ruth Rare, which I might unhaul because I haven't read it this year. City of Villains by Estelle Lauren. I believe book three comes out in May of next year, so I have time to binge read this one. Malice by Heather Walter. I'm very excited to get to this. I started this one earlier this year, and I got 20 pages in, and I don't know why I didn't finish it. But I'm hoping, again, next year I'll read it. Flirting with Fate by J.C. Kravintz. I was supposed to buddy read this with my friend Taylor. Never read it. So hopefully next year we can buddy read this. Then the Lies We Tell by Julie Clark. Don't know what this one is about. I just know I got it from Book of the Month as a add-on. And it's super short. So I feel like this would definitely help me out with my reading challenge. Even though I've already completed it. Um, it would just help me out even more. So I might read this one and let you guys know how it is. Then last but not least on this TBR cart is the very popular The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. I'm very excited to get to this. I was supposed to read this uh, this month for Mel over at Completely Mel's um, Coffee Patreon book pick. I think it was this month or it was for November and I just never got around to reading it. Um, but hopefully I can read this for either Buzzword next month, not next month, but like sometimes next year or in the TBR knockout that Mel Melanie does. Wow, I never call her Mel, her Melanie. Just call her Mel or mom. <laughs> she knows what I mean by that. Uh, so let me push these off to the side real quick. Pull my other cart. I'm scared that's gonna fall, but it's not. So this next cart I built all by myself. Um, again, I th believe I got it from Amazon. So uh, this one isn't one that I'm gonna count as a read, unread book because I did read this, but that is The Land of Stories, uh, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. This is the beautiful 10th anniversary edition that will be in my December book haul. I have Buy the Book by Jasmine Gilroy. Book two and book three of the, what are you called again? <laughs> the Thaven Chronicle trilogy by Travis Pond. I read book one, absolutely loved it. And I cannot wait to binge read book two and three. And that way I can do an author interview. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen in book two and three. Oh, also both of these are signed. Um, so Drew, enjoy and write to Travis Pond. And then this one says, let's see, is this one signed? I don't think this one got signed now that I'm thinking of it, which is kind of bad. <laughs> it's not signed, but it's okay. I'll get it signed soon. Don't worry. I'll probably get it signed at the author interview. And apparently I have a bookmark in here. Oh, chapter two. <laughs> so I did start with this one. Uh, next is another book that you see in my December book haul, and that is The Poison Season by Mara Rutherford. This is a beautiful edition. I just did my unboxing for this on my channel, so I'll leave that up above or down below. Uh, next is another book you'll see in my December book haul, and that is Ruta Sepetis, uh You, the Story, A Writer's Guide to Craft, to craft Through Memory. Um, this is a a uh, physical arc that I got from Penguin Teen. This doesn't come out till May and I don't know if I'll actually read it though because I didn't realize it was like one of those 
uh, writing, creative type of stories, you know? Um, I am happy to have the arc though, but I just, I don't know. I think I might give this to my Finn Taylor because she's more of a author herself than I am. But we are working on a book together, so maybe I'll keep this for myself as well. But like I said, this doesn't come out till May of next year. And then I have Only on the Weekends by Dean Atta. And then this top shelf, I don't know if you can see, are all library books, so I'm not counting these as like my own books, obviously. But as you can see, I do have a lot checked out and I need to get to them. So I won't be showing those, but I will be showing all the other books. So I have three on this top row that are unread. I have A Girl's Guide to Love and Magic by Debbie Rigard. I'm so sorry for being your last name. This was supposed to be our Queer Reads book club pick for the month of September, and I haven't got to it yet, so hopefully in December I will. Then on the same vein is Dauntless by Elise A. Brown. I believe this was for July, and y'all already know the story of what happened in July. Um, July was just not a great month for me, so yeah, that's why we haven't read Dauntless yet, but I'm excited too nonetheless. And then I got The 99 Boyfriends of Micah Summers by Adam Sass. Very excited for this. I believe I did a, a book shopping vlog for this one. And if I did, I'll leave it up above. Uh, my friend Taylor was in it, so I'm very excited for that. Um, and I still haven't read this one yet. Again, if you saw my videos recently, you saw me talking about contemporary books and how me and them don't really get along anymore. <laughs> Uh, next couple books I have, these were all shown on my December TBR, so we have Three Kisses, One Midnight by Rishani Trakshe, White Out by Danielle Clayton, Jade Fire Gold by June Lin, June C, oh my god, June C. Lin Tan, gosh that was hard to say for some reason. Bear Cliff Prep by Brianna Pippins. The Beautiful by Renee Audier. What fell? Oh, one of my magnets. <laughs> Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. Uh, Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. Graceling, the graphic novel, which I'm currently reading, so this will be my December wrap up. And then Never Seen by Shanna Messenger, the fourth installment of the Keep Your Lost City series. This is why I hate paperback, everyone. I'm so sorry. Kind of awkward. <laughs> On this last row, before I show you the rest of the books, are books you've seen throughout my TBRs. Um, I have Places We Never Been by Casey West. Nate Plus One by Kevin Van Wyn. The Vanquishers by... Kaylin Barron, very excited to read this one still. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I started this one. I haven't really got far. I'm literally on the prologue. Like, I remember starting it and reading, I think I read like halfway through and then I wanted to, oops, and then I wanted to um, restart it. So I restarted it last month. Haven't picked it up yet. So hopefully... This month I will, since it did win the Goodreads Choice Awards for Best Romance, I believe is genre. Um, but again, still very excited to get to this. As you can see, I still have my Target stickers on it. Then I have, book one is somewhere in this deck, but I have book two and book three of the It's a Discovery of Witches trilogy. I almost unhauled this trilogy. But then my friend Sydney convinced me to keep these because she also owns all three books. 
So I think we're going to buddy read all three books sometimes next year. I think we're going to save these for the fall, I think. So Sydney, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, don't know too much about it. So I have Shadow of Night and then uh, The Book of Life. Then I have This Vicious Grace by Emily Thide. This is my newest book that I, well, not my newest book I acquired, uh, but my newest book I've acquired with my friend Taylor. Uh, we both bought a copy of this at Barnes & Noble because it was 30% off. Um, and it just sounded amazing. So we're going to buddy read this one sometime soon. And then I'm rereading the Cassie Clare book. So I'm on Clockwork Princess for my reread. I just don't want to reread this because I know what's going to happen. And it makes me cry every time I do read it. So I'm nervous for that. But also excited to get back into this world. And then this one I'm also better reading with my friend Taylor, and that is The Queen's Assassins by Melissa De La Cruz. We are a huge Melissa De La Cruz fan, and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in this one. Uh, the next book is now going into my book stacks that I have here on the ground. I have The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Uh, very intimidated by the series, and I only own book one. The Cursed Carnival by Rick Riordan. Daughter of the Deep by Rick Riordan. The Chandler Legacy by Abby Nabzeman, which I forgot I own. Then I have Octola, I think, by Maya Monet. I read book one last year, absolutely loved it, and this is a sequel to Nocturna. Um, so I cannot wait to see what happens in book two. Then I have... The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson, which is a super duper bent. So I'm happy they're having a new uh, pretty edition. So I might give this copy to my sister because a while back she was like, hey, do you have this book? It sounds really good. And I was like, I know it sounds really good, but I haven't read it myself. So, I mean, I could give it to her, but, you know, I just want to read it first before she has it. Um... Then I have Spinning Silver by Naomi Novak. Ooh. Next few books I have are Nightfall by Shanna Messenger, the sixth book in The Keeper of the Lost City. I couldn't remember what number it was. <laughs> uh, Faith Taking Flight by Julie Murphy. Ignore the ugly sticker here. It did not want to come off. Uh, the Cost of Knowing by Brittany Morris. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Uh, the Downstairs Girls by Stacey Lee. Take Me Home Tonight by Morgan Matson. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson, a beautiful edition. A Dog's Courage by W. Bruce Cameron. Tempest Runner by uh, Kevin Scott. And this is part of the Star Wars High Republic era that I haven't read yet. The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling. The Family Game by Catherine Stedman. And They Lived by Stephen Sal Salvatore, I believe is the author's last name. Let me see if I can push these over. Yes, I can. Yay. Then I have Amber and Dust by Lila Sully. The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. I might unhaul this because it's been on my shelf since 2021. Bone Crier's Dawn by Catherine Purdy, a beautiful edition I got from Owl Crate. Heart of, the, Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. Um, again, another book I might unhaul in 2023. Um, if I don't read it in 2023, it's definitely going to get unhauled. Uh, Beyond the End of the World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, the sequel to 
the other side of the sky. Um, have not read book one yet. It should be in the stack. So we'll see if it is. The Devouring Grave by Christine Lynn Herman. The way that this desk can hold all these books is driving me insane. <laughs> uh, Sal and Gabby's Fix the Universe by Carlos Hernandez. A sequel and finale to the duology. So that's why I haven't picked this one up yet. The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. I started this one earlier this year during the summertime for Mary or not Mary Bookmas. That's what's happening right now for Seasonathon Academy, and I just haven't gone around. I mean, I started it. Uh, I literally got 25 pages in, and I haven't finished it yet. So I'm hoping I will love it. Uh, Queen of Volts by Amanda Foody. It is a little beat up, which I try not to beat up my books, but can't help it. <laughs> uh, this is the third and final book in the Shadow Game trilogy, which is going to be in a video coming up soon. Alrighty, Let sorry about that. I swear this is like the last part of this video. Um, so yeah, I had to turn on my uh, bedroom light and change the angle because as you can see, it's kind of getting dark. Um, so next couple books I have are Shuri Symphorius, uh by Nick Stone, the third installment of this series. Uh, the Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston, which my friend um, Emma from Next Door, she got me this one, so thank you. Then I have Seasonal Fears by Shauna McGuire. Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. What's Not to Love by Emily Webley and Asta Suma Broca. The Restless Dark by Erica Waters. Uh, Raising the Horsemen by Serena Valentino. The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. Kate's in Waiting by Becky Albert Talley. Fresh by Margaret Wood. Uh, Poor Unfortunate Soul by Serena Valentino. Sweet Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. The Bone Spindle by Leslie Vetter, which I'm also reading next month because I have an ARCA book too, and I think it comes out in January or I think it comes out in February. I would have to double check. Um, then I have The Bells by Daniel Clayton. Vampires Never Get Old by Zoraida Cordova. Uh, Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cos Cosby. Wow, hard to talk tonight. Um, like Other Girls by Britta London. Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina. Hunting Girl by Margaret Rogers. The Charm Offensive by Alison Klockner. The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. Or actually, sorry, Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco. The Dog of Christmas by W. Bruce Cameron. Might unhaul this, but I also might keep it because my sister got me this. Uh, Year on Fire by Julie Buxbaum. The Darkness Outside of Us by uh, Elliot Schreifer. The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by uh, Josie Silver, another book I might unhaul. Let's see if I can push those back. And this makes me laugh every time I see it. It's the end of the world and I'm in my bathing suit by Justin A. Reynolds. Uh, this is a middle grade novel that I bought a while ago and I haven't finished it yet. Uh, I did start this one. I got to literally chapter four of this book. So not that far into it, but hopefully I'll finish it sometimes next year. Uh, Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. Demons and Monsters, or Demigods and Monsters, my bad, by Rick Riordan. Got this book gifted for me from my friend Jen, I want to say. Yes, from Jen for a birthday a while back, and I still haven't read it yet. I think this just because this is like literally what it says. It's a collection of just random facts about the Demigods and Monsters. So I don't know if we have to read this one, but this is one that I haven't read yet. 
uh, that weekend by Kara Thomas. I am absolutely excited for this one still. Uh, this one was a most anticipated read that came out last year and I read the cheerleaders by this author and I really loved it so I cannot wait to see what she has in store for us. Um, this one I got gifted to me so I don't know who the author or actually the author's on here never mind but I got Opie or Ope Philly Revenge by J. Clifton Slaughter. Uh, sorry for butchering your name. This one is a local author here so gotta support our local authors. <laughs> uh, next is Fast Pitch by Nick Stone which she's the girl on the cover here which is super fun. Super short easy read to get through so I might read it this month. And then I don't know how to pronounce this title correctly. Ardeon Audrey I can't even say it on camera but it's this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry for not saying your title right. Uh, when You Get the Chance by Emma Lord. Ariane Dante uh, dives into the waters of the world. Oh my gosh, hard title. Uh, by Benjamin Allier Sons. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reads. Then I have... The Beast Within by Zarina Valentino. Both Sides Now by Peyton Thomas. Thank you, Penguin Team, for sending me an arc, even though I haven't read it yet. Uh, the Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. Um, the Grey Wolf Throne by Cinerillium Chima. Cool for the Summer by Delilah Alder. The uh, Lost Book of the White by Cassandra Clare. My only Cassandra Clare book in this video. Star Wars Most Wanted by Ray Carson. The Light in the Hidden Place by Shannon Cameron. Court of Lions by Simonia Dodd. The Queen's Secret by Melissa De La Cruz, which I shown book one off earlier this video. And The Marvelers by Daniel Clayton. I have Amari and the Great Games by B.B. Allison. Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. With and Without You by Emily Webley and Austin Sigma Broca. The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. I might unhaul this if I don't read it next year, just because it's been on my shelf for quite a while. No! They keep falling. Like, every single video I make, they keep falling. I don't know if it's the duct tape or not. Uh, In My Dream, I Hold a Knife by Ashley uh, Winston. Very excited to read this. Ignore the ugly Target sticker, though. Uh, the Roughest Draft by Emily Webley. Right Where I Left You by Julian Winters. Hide by Kirsten White. Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and uh, Catherine Weber. Funny how both of their names are Catherine, but they spell differently. I have Fracture Path by... J.C. Kravitz. I don't know where to put these guys. Uh, Fire by Kirsten Cashore. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkins. Morning Star by Pierce Brown. Oh, this is going to be heavy because this book is on here. Priory of the Owen Street by Samantha Shannon. Let Me Hear a Rhyme by Tiffany D. Jackson. The Jasmine Throne by Tashi Shuri. Uh, Which is Deep in Gold by Cinnamon Smart. Heat Wave by TJ Klune. Babel or Babel, depending on how you pronounce it, uh, by RF Kwong. Uh, Bone Cries Moon by Catherine Purdy, beautiful edition from Allocrate. Nothing More to Tell by Karen M. McManus. 
Majesty book two in the American Royal series by Catherine McGee. And the last four books for this stack or for this video that I will show today is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. An Arrow to the Moon by Emily X. Sarpan. Here is my copy of The Other Side of the Sky by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. And last but not least, I have Fireborn by Rosaria Mondi. So yeah, there you have it. Sorry it had to be split up into like three parts. Hopefully it's not a long video. Cross fingers. I think it will be. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed any of these books, let me know what you thought of them down below. If you love to buddy read any of these books, please, please buddy read with me. I will be down to do so. Uh, very excited for any and all options. And I will just chat with you guys down in the comments below. Hope you have a great day or night. And I hope you're staying safe, happy, healthy. And I will chat with you guys in the comments. Bye.